Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another day's video diary. And how's it going today? Today it is fucking like twenty minutes, twenty minutes past seven. We're setting off in about ten minutes. Um, and I'm ready. I'm ready for my assessment day. I've got to go all the way to Bristol in order to do it. But I'm, I'm up. I'm dressed. I've got my friggin' friggin' suit on. Did ignore that. <laughs> Jesus. So yeah. Oh, I've got my key on as well. I'm trying to keep it relatively hidden. I'm not wearing a tie. Book ties, book the police, book the popo, you know what I mean? Uh, fucking shirts tucked in, that's enough. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so I've got up, um, have myself some breakfast, have a shower, and that, and I'm just about to. I'm setting up a bag of stuff that I'm taking with me. I'm taking up this bag, um, and I'm taking stuff like my laptop, pens, paper. I'm taking like a little toiletry bag with things like deodorant in and like aftershave and stuff and hair gel just in case. So, I've got my wallet. Uh, some tissues, just in case. Lip cells. Lip cells. I don't know what I need for interview. I assume I don't need any of this because they haven't told me, but I'm taking it anyway. Just in case. Prepared, prepared, prepared. If I take my laptop, it looks like I mean business. Maybe. I don't know. Either that or I've got a long train ride and I'm bored of it. One of the two. Um, which is the reason why I'm taking my Nexus and my phone. And my phone charger. Yeah, boy. Well, we're going to live the dream today. It's going to be the best. So, yeah. That's literally just getting ready to go now. These shoes are going to be the death of me as well. They're size 9s, and um, I've got size 11 feet. <laughs> size 11 or size 12, depending on what kind of shoes you wear. Um, but they're winkle pickers. They're, well, kind of. They're very pointy. So I'm kind of just slipped into the pointy bit. So it all, it's all fine, man. It's all fine. Right, let me just finish getting my bag ready, and then we'll roll. the train I'm on when I'm going coming back from Laura's or when she's going to me yeah lovely it's not up yet it was just a, a, a thing saying like oh you've got a thing in an hour got an hour to get there from here 13 minute drive away enough time to do my hair basically Bristol Parkway I'm thinking of hanging around here a little bit I'm well I've got 50 minutes to get there and it's apparently a 13 minute drive <coughs> onto Google there's taxis there I don't really want to get there over 30 minutes early, preferably, because the wait's killing me now, and I can do what I want now, I can just vlog, <laughs> I couldn't vlog in an office, so, I'm killing time, I was just moisturised my hands, but hey, um, I was trying to get my hair to dry, but it's not going to dry, with a hand dryer, so, fuck it, hashtag, um, so hair gel's a bit of a, of a no-go. Taxi's there. What do you think? What do you think, guys? What do you think? Okay, let's roll. Come on. Merry Swish. Let's go. This bloody wind, mate. Jesus. Wow. Wow. That was fun. I'm back now. Back from home. Just walking home. Just put myself in my number. Celebrations. Hey. Um, that was really good. I'll tell you about it in a minute. I'm expecting a phone call at some point. some pyjamas on and I don't give a damn <laughs> it's only like we actually got off early as well uh, it's nearly five, half well it's just gone half five half four even I'm supposed to leave at half four so good stuff I'm gonna have myself a nice brew put my gym gems on chat to dad um phone in lovely later oh happy valentine's day I think. Sorry, I didn't that earlier. I'm really glad you liked your flowers shame you don't have a bar so just put them in a measuring jug bless <laughs> does look vintage though um, you can't even hear me, can you? Yeah, I sent her some flowers from like a florist. I like rent leads for a florist. Found one, ordered them ages ago. And their bloody website has been emailing me every single day. So you looked at this product. Do you want it? I freaking ordered it. Leave me alone. So when she, I had to put them in my junk folder. And they still kept coming through. And then I fixed the junk folder. <laughs> um, so it was, she could have very easily found out about that when she came down. 
That's the first time I've ever given her proper flowers. Probably the last, because it's far too cliched. I got pyjamas last week, so... That, that, that's where the, my cliché ends. It's basically my way of saying sorry, because the idea was I was going to be there in Leeds this week. We were going to go to the steak place for Valentine's Day. But uh, my comic is just too expensive and I've got shit on So, my sorry. Sorry, babe. I love you. You're the best. And we're back. And that's enough smart clothes for me for one day. I'm in my gym jams. Mother trucker, Jesus. Well, today has been a whale of a time, basically. I've just been on the phone to Dad and ruined a cup of tea because it was way too strong because I couldn't talk to him in any other room except this one because he's friggin' reception. It's not even me, I swear to God, it's him. I'm just walking around and he's like, I'm just sat there at my desk. He goes, oh, you're breaking up. Well, I'm just sat here, mate. What are you doing? <laughs> it might be the weather, though, to be fair. Um, what time does it leave? I've got a bit of a headache. I've been thinking a lot today, mate. Paracetamol. Um... Just finished on my friggin' drink. So yeah, the interview then, eh, shall we? Uh, got there, there was five... There was a couple of people already there. They beat me there, buggers. They actually got let in. Well. I was just stood in that lobby for, like, ages. <laughs> um, I didn't know what to do because some guy just buzzed me in. There's, like, a doorbell, apparently, that I was supposed to ring. But some guy felt sorry for me and just, like, buzzed me in. Uh, and then I just stood in the foyer, like, um... <laughs> Am I missing something? What am I supposed to do? And I got there half an hour early as well, so I'm like, right, okay, we'll wait till 15. 15 minutes, maybe. Um, and then I went upstairs, and someone crossed me. Sorry, it's very dark. Uh, someone crossed past me, saying, um, and I went, wait, are you, are you here for the uh, bright side? Are you here for bright side? Um, oh, that's who it is, by the way, bright side. Um, <coughs> hmm? Hello? I felt like something was like poking my tongue then, that was really weird. Um, well, not my tongue, my like um, console. Oh, um, so yeah, we did that stuff. And then I headed, so he was like, oh, right, oh, you're Jamie, I'm interviewing you today. I'm like, oh, hello. Um, go upstairs and stuff. And there was, uh, how many of us? There was six of us in today. Uh, there was supposed to be eight, but two people, one person phoned ahead and said he couldn't make it. Uh, the other one had said, just in show, basically. Um, we had like a brief introduction into everything that we were doing, uh, like what the company's like and stuff like that. Um, so we had like an introduction into what everyone did, what the, like, everyone's roles was there and stuff. And then it was time to do stuff like the technical uh, interview. Uh, I did my technical, everyone did it in a different order. I did a technical um, test first, which was like a written de test, like you had to do some pseudo code, you had to debug some code, had to talk about uh, like some testing strategies and stuff like that, um, which was really good stuff. Um, I think that went relatively well. There were a couple of questions I didn't know the answers to, so I left them blank. Instead of answering, I could have potentially maybe guessed, but I said like I'm not sure whether it's to whether it's better to guess and get it wrong, or do this. I said like at the top of one, I'm like I know I could probably guess a couple of these because programming is the kind of thing where everything's designed in a way like print does what you'd imagine it prints things uh you know what i mean so something called rollback i could potentially guess at what that does but i left it blank and i left a little thing saying i could potentially guess at what the majority of these things on this work page say but i don't know for certain and i wouldn't use it in a program if i didn't know what it did because of it could be security issues and stuff so i did put a little bit of an explanation down um for it so i covered my ass a bit there um and then what else was there? That was it, I think, for that one. We then went into the interview, which I think went really, really well. It was, I was a lot of talking. It was an hour. Jeez, I had like one little cup of water to get me through it as well. <laughs> it was madness. Um, and I was there and I was talking and I was talking about, I talked about um, the space mission. I talked about you. He said like, what's on your to-do list every day? What's the first thing you always tick off? And what's something that never gets ticked off? And I'm like, and I went like this, I went, like looked up like I always, I always seem to look to the right when I'm talking to people um, like I'll go oh and he goes something just came to your mind tell me what that is I'm like oh shit it was the daily vlogs and then I couldn't like rapidly think of something else I'm like well every morning I do I sort out my daily vlog um, and then explain daily vlogging to him he says it's quite interesting um, <laughs> Jesus I've always like gone like should I ever bring that up because 900 days is a fuck ton of days let's be honest like, it's taken a lot, and I said, like, for, well, for the past 900 days, I've, um, I didn't say anything about how many of you there are, 
or how many views I get, because that's not important. Um, I said, like, for the past 900 days, I've been recording my day-to-day -day life and talking about it and remembering it, essentially, for future reference. Um, like, there was this time the other day, just to show you how mundane it is, uh, I forgot how to cook the frozen fish that I had in my uh, thingy. And I now know, because I remember it was in a daily vlog, I remember it was on this date, went to the video and figured it out. So, you got mentioned, guys. Hello. So yeah, that was that. Um, we then talked about some other stuff. We talked about music. He said, like, what's your... We were talking about music a bit at some point. And then he said, like, what's your dream role? Job. And I'm like, well... To be honest, well, I, well, I first said, what, what, here? <laughs> and they go, uh, no, just in general. And I'm like, well, to be honest with you, my dream job is, like, if I could do any job and just jump into it, then it would be uh, composing music for films, which it always would have been. Um, but I find that computer science is the closest thing there is to music, and then I compared composing to, mu uh, to uh, programming in the sense that they're both, like, a controlled creativity and you've got to abide by certain rules, but you can essentially do what you want, um, which I think came across well. Um, there was a load of things basically that came across well. I came across as very hard working. They're like, when do you relax? I'm like, I don't. <laughs> when I've got time to relax, uh, either like Lovely is with me, which is the only time I really relax. I should have really said that whenever my girlfriend's around. Um, um, or I invent things to fill up my time, hence the vlogs and my blog and stuff like that, uh, which is currently the only thing on my to-do list that I'm not actually getting to, which is annoying because I keep starting to write it and then just getting bored. Um, but yeah, that was that really. Um, though we got to team working and this is where it got a bit, a bit like, <gasps> I felt like I was digging myself into a bit of a hole. I was talking about all the team working experience I've had at the moment and all the times at university and how I basically manage it. And I'm saying like, I was saying about how like at the moment, no one seems willing to step forward. No one seems willing to say, hey guys, do this. No one seems to want to be that person, um, which is really like annoying. And I thought it was mainly because like everyone went out drinking in the first year doesn't matter, but then this year it's kind of the same as well. To a certain extent, there's, there's well, a lesser proportion of them, but some of them still do. And I was saying that like the first year I didn't do any management and it went downhill. And then from then on, I was managing the groups and I was getting as good grades and stuff. And I'd be like setting goals and like doing this, this, this. And then if someone isn't very good at it, I'd, if someone isn't very reliable, then I'd give them smaller chunks just so that my contingency plan of like, if they don't do it, bam, I can do it and I'll fill it in for them. If that comes up, then I can fix it. Basically I can fix my, I can, you know what I mean? Uh, and they were like, Da, 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 da. Do you think you're a bit of a control freak? And I'm like, shit, backpedal like a motherfucker. And I'm like, well, no, no, I wouldn't. I never, I always work with the people in order to achieve the things I'm aiming to do, but I make sure the things that I'm aiming to do get done um, and stuff like that. And I was trying to, I, so I'm not sure. I think I did really well at the interview. It got to the end and he said, like, I could talk to you for hours. Now, he also called me an eccentric as well. He's like, do you think you're quite traditional or quite contemporary? And I'm like, I think I'm traditional in some senses. I'm very old-fashioned. I have old-fashioned values. Um, but then I wear odd shoes. So odd shoes came into it as well. <laughs> and I walk around talking to a camera every day. So not that really, like, traditional to a sense. Very rainy outside. Um, dodge that, mother trucker. <laughs> so I think, I think it went well. The team working thing might be an issue. Might have been like I came across, but they could they could beat that out of me a bit because it sounds like I'm a bit of a like non-team player. He said like I get the impression that you like to work alone, like solo. And I know like, I'm more than happy for people to do the work. I'm just ready for them not to. <laughs> and I think the way I was explaining that was came across a bit weird. But yeah, uh, hopefully that went all right. We then had a hour long lunch where we were sat basically interviewing the people who were doing our job. Uh, like had the role last year, so they're currently there doing the role. Uh, I was talking to them about stuff um, for an hour, unsupervised, getting all the lowdown. Uh, and then we had a three hour long group task <laughs> where we had to like do uh, something called Scrum. It's a software development technique where you'll go in, this is what they do, is they go in every day, they have a 15 minute stand up meeting saying like, here's what we do, here's what I did yesterday, here's what I'm gonna do today, uh, here's, um, the things that I'm struggling with, at which point, like, the team will be like, oh, have you thought about this? Da, 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 da. Or I'll come over in a couple of minutes and help you with that. Stuff like that. Um, 
So that's the scrum stuff. Uh, we then had to do a model of that. So we had five minutes planning for the day, five minute meeting, and then the planning for the day. Um, and then we had to two, 15, two blocks of 15 minutes um, where we would, uh, we were told we had to manage and produce a brochure advertising Earth to um, to Martians who wanted to come here on holiday. We had to develop a brochure using like cut and stick from the Argos catalogue and shit like that. It was mad. It was really good fun though. And the problem with stuff like that is I have no idea what they were looking for, so I don't know how well I did. But otherwise, I'm f I, I, I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good. I, I think that went really, really well. We said we'll find out Monday. So we'll see. I'll be getting a phone call Monday, hopefully. Uh, or Tuesday, uh, they said. But usually they'll be able to get back to us by Monday, which is really, really cool. Yeah. So, went well. Congratulations. I'm now back. Like I say, I bought myself a Bread for dinner because I'm treating myself. I'm thinking of having a glass of wine as well later. I'm not sure if I said that. Um, already. But yeah, I'm just chilling now, waiting for dinner. Basically. I'm not hungry yet. So, I'm going to play a bit of Hearthstone or something. I don't know, my phone has been blowing up. I've been using my mobile charger, ringing lovely later as well, um, for obvious reasons, telling all of this. Um, I brought this bad boy with me, and it's a good job, because I was literally on the train for like 20 minutes. By the time I got off that train, it was dead. Because <laughs> I was just, well, on the train actually, it was dead. Because I just got like loads, I had like four missed calls. Who actually, who actually did ring me? Did I find that out, who rung me? Probably an idea to check this kind of stuff. Um, logs. Dad. Oh no. Lovely. Oh, these are all text messages. Come on, where's the phone calls? Texts. Phone. No, that was me ringing the... Missed call from Dad and Holloway. Holloway? What were you ringing me for? Fuck's sake, Holloway. And Dad, you knew I was in the assessment centre. <laughs> anyway, I have my phone on silent, so... Yeah, I had loads of notifications and emails and stuff that I had to deal with. So, dealt with them on the train. Good stuff. I'm happy. I'm a happy, happy bunny. Lovely's gonna be ringing me in a bit, like I say. So I'll keep you on charge for a bit, and then I'll recharge this up. I'm super, super happy. Super, super happy. Yeah. Um. Right. Anyway. Let's fucking relax. Fucking put your feet up, mate. I ain't got a cup of tea, which is a bastard. Because it fucking it was way too strong. I tried it. I tried it, mate. I bloody well tried it. But like I say, way too strong. Oh, I took, like, I don't know if I told you this in the morning. I took, like, a bag. They didn't tell us anything about today. I knew there was a written test. That was it. So, um, I took a bag with, because apparently assessment days are really intense. That was really laid back for an assessment day, apparently. Um, but I took a bag with, like, deodorant in, hair gel, aftershave, um, aftershave yeah, moisturiser in, in, my, in my, just, you know, not not to brag or anything, but my Paul Smith fucking yeah boy. <laughs> uh, I took my freaking laptop, didn't use it. Nexus didn't use it. Diary didn't use it. Man, what a day! What a day! Otherwise though, tonight I'm literally gonna be playing games, cooking dinner, and washing some clothes. Mental. So right, I'm doing a wash um, at the moment while I uh, do stuff. In fact, the wash is probably already done. Um, well, I'm just chilling out, basically. Just had dinner and stuff. And I got Alan to do some, uh, take some notes for me in the lectures, so I wouldn't miss out on any of the lecture notes of my um, thinking. And I've sent him notes before. Uh, and I'm printing them out, Alan. And what the fuck? First my, uh, fucking Alan. <laughs> Jesus. First my printer's like, out of paper. I'm like, you, you've got paper, mate. Uh, out of paper. You've got paper, mate. I'll put it in again. There you go. It's more paper. And he's like, I'm out of paper. And I'm like, fine. Um, so I fixed that, then it went paper jam, fixed that, out of paper, out of paper, out of paper, it starts printing, blue screen. Alan, I ain't fucking serious words with you mate, it's bang out of order. Washing machine's nearly done, I can hear it revving up. Just got off the phone, oh dark, just got off the phone from talking from lovely, and I've been um, drying my clothes as well, doing a tumble dryer. That's the best way to waste time, um, like tumble drying. When you're waiting for a tumble dryer to be finished, you talked lovely on the phone. So I was talking about like my interview and stuff and how I think it went and stuff like that, which is really cool. Um, I got the printer working, did I tell you that? I don't know, can't remember. Atlas! Right, I'm literally playing Hearthstone, essentially, um, until 
my wash is done and I've got it all hung up and drying. Um, and then that's it, really. You know? Then I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to have a nice early night. He says it's still going to be like half 11. It's going to be a nice early night though, and I'm going to wake up like 9 ish or something like that instead of. Um, yeah, instead of like a stupid time. Like, uh, normally I've been getting up at 7 recently. I might get up at 9 and go to bed early as well. So I'll get like an extra 4 hours sleep, which is mental. <laughs> right, I want you to repeat to me what the last thing I just said was. I'm going to go to bed early, get an extra 4 hours sleep. Um, I've been awake for 22 hours. What the fuck am I doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. Fucking marple over here is like... I have, well, we'll go to bed early, but we'll just play a bit of Hearthstone, and then as I'm logging off, Chris and Daniel log on, so I'm like, right, okay, we'll play a couple of games with Chris and Daniel, that'll be fine, so I'm on from 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, no, brutal, fucking 9 o'clock, deal with it, you shouldn't have stayed up so late, alarm on, um, and then we're talking about, we was playing Hearthstone for a bit, played a couple of games of that, it got to 1, and I'm like, right, we ought to get going now. Played till half past two. We we're like, right, gonna get going now. Logged off of Hearthstone, then started talking about stuff. Then I started doing some web development. Blitz software is back online, by the way. It's working again now. So, yeah. It turns out my index file was called index.html.html, and I didn't notice. So that's why it wasn't working. But it's working now. So yeah, brilliant. Um, otherwise, ah, what is this? I feel like something's poking me in the back of the throat. I can't get it. It was really attractive for you to see, sorry. So that's fixed. Uh, I also recalibrated it. It turns out as well I'd uploaded the wrong files. I'd uploaded the old version of the files, not since I'd updated it all. Um, so I re-got that up. I refixed the JavaScript thing that was scrambling the email address that's attached to the website. Uh, can't get the font to work uh, though because it's a special font through Adobe Typekit. But fucking deal with it, you know. Put on my bloody to do list tomorrow for me to do. Jesus. So that's back up and running. But otherwise, I'm going to bed because it's four in the fucking morning. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm going to get up in five hours. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Some fucking worst. I swear to God. Right. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Today has been a really good day. Hopefully it's gone really, really well. I feel like it's gone very well. Um, I've had a nice relaxed evening. I've done my washing. The tumble dryer did shit. So it's now drying there. Um, but yeah. So that's that, really. That's everything. I'm going to go to bed. Well deserved rest. Get up at 9 o'clock tomorrow. I've then got four hours to play with in the morning before I have to go to work. So yeah. And then we'll see what we can do in that four hours. Maybe web stuff. Maybe type up legend notes, probably type up legend notes, and then look at web stuff after. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall catch you later.